What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be going over my new 3D mockup that I just released on my site. Here's a little preview of what it looks like. If you do wanna purchase it, make sure to check out this entire video. Um, it's currently available for $20 on my site. Um, and you can also purchase them individually. I'll go through all of that now. If you have purchased it or going to purchase it, this is just a run through of how to use the mockup. So when you go onto my site and you click on the bundle, you'll see that it includes the t-shirt, hoodie, and long sleeve. It's currently going for $20. Um, and then individually it is ten dollars once you download the bundle of the site you'll get these three folders if you've downloaded it individually you'll just get like either the hoodie long sleeve or t-shirt folder you can go into that and all of them are set up exactly the same so let's just make this bigger so you can see it a lot better but we have the blender file textures the Mixima animation hdri your design files and then your clo files so if you want to customize this animation as well, I guess it comes with the animation. So you can add your own items. You're welcome to add any of my Clo 3D files. Check out my bundle, my digital fashion starter pack. You can add all those items. I've actually used all of the items from there to add into here. This, so this is your Clo file, which is your frame one, uh, which you connect to your, your walking animation. Um, and then you got your design files for each uh, item. And then your HRI, your, your Mixamo files, and then we have our textures. So once you've downloaded the items, you want to make sure you have Blender installed. So you can just go over to blender.org and download Blender. It's a free 3D software application that you can use to do really cool 3D stuff. Once you've downloaded that, you're also going to need Photoshop. Uh, you can get a free trial. Uh, at Adobe. All these links will be in the description. Uh, if you can't get access to Photoshop, you can also check out Photopia. Uh, it's also a free to use application online um, and it pretty much works the same as Photoshop. Once you have all of that, we can open up the Blender file. So let's just go into the hoodie, walking 360. To get your camera preview, we're going to go up to our camera on the right here and then go to the left and say view set active object as camera and you should get your camera angle. And um, we can go up to the top here and say viewport shading and just make sure that our materials are in preview. Once your materials are in preview, you'll see that all the items have their labels on it so you can see exactly where they are. Now from here, we're going to click on the outfit and then go into our materials. You'll see that we have the hoodie, pants, and bandana set up. Now to update the garments to have your own branding on, we're gonna go back to our folder that we downloaded and go to designs, and let's open up all of these. I'm gonna be using Photoshop. Now all of these designs work exactly the same, so I'm just gonna use the hoodie for reference now. Now you'll see that we have our labels, so if you don't wanna see any of these and you already know where they are, you can just hide that, and then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update these. So you can just go hover over main here and you'll see that there is a little rectangle set up. This is how you're going to change the color of your garment. Let's make it black. And then if you want to drag and drop any of your logos, it's as simple as taking something from your desktop, a JPEG or PNG and just dropping it in. You can scale it down and then drop it over like that. Then you can hit save. And then we can go into Blender and nothing will update straight away, but all you have to do is go to your viewport shader and just click there and then change it back to your material preview mode. And then you'll see that it's been updated automatically. Now this is just for reference. Maybe you want to change it again. So I'm just going to click on Mania, add a text, call it Dan, change the font, this little texture, and then just like that, hit save. And then we can go back into Blender and let's update it. And you're good to go. So that's how all of the items work. It's very simple to set up. We can do the same for all the other ones. Um, and then from there, for export settings, we're gonna go into our renderer. Depending on your PC, I would say anything between 100 to 300 is good. I have a 4080, so it's quite high end as well as a Ryzen 9. I normally do around like 500 samples. It also depends how much time you have. Uh, if you are rushed for time, you can always check out Garage from They give you $50 free on sign up to do some renders. Uh, I have dropped a tutorial about that in the past, so make sure to check that out. Uh, it'll take like 10 minutes to render out quite a high res uh, clip. So yeah, I'm going to just set it to 200. Then for output, because it's for Instagram, we're going to do 1080 by 1920. But if you want to maybe do it square or vice versa, uh, you can just change it here. And you'll see that your camera angle will be updated. Um, just like so uh, if you want to adjust the, the camera you can go up to view say top view and all you need to do is go to your first frame over here the bottom on the timeline and just bring it back by pressing G and Y 
um, and then you also want to rotate it so that it points more up so you can press r followed by x and just point it up and just like that you should get an updated um, markup now for the background the background is set up to only be in white so unfortunately you can't change the backdrop for our final export settings we're going to go to our output tab and we're going to select the location i'm just going to do desktop let's call it hoodie one underscore press accept and then we're going to do ffmpeg video and by this encoding section here there's a little preset tab you're going to click that and go to h264 and mp4 this will export the animation as a video as opposed to a png sequence and uh, just saves you some time if you don't have maybe editing software to use um, but just note if it does crash you have to restart all over again but yeah keep everything as is don't change the frame rate or else animation will mess up and then all you need to do is go up to the top here and say render animation and it will start rendering out frame for frame now just know that uh, you can calculate your estimated render time by going up to the top left here uh, so the last frame took about 10 seconds so times that by 300 frames so you get looking about 3000 seconds which is about 50 minutes obviously depending on a pc it will be slower or faster so just take that in mind uh, for when you do do renders so yeah that's pretty much it uh, all of them work exactly the same i'm just going to show you the long sleeve this is the files for the long sleeve they all set up exactly the same so if you are looking to purchase a bundle this is you'll get all three of these together and you can make a cool video like this everybody 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 <laughs> Or if you just want to purchase one just to show off maybe your hoodie or your pants or bandana you have or maybe even you have a similar hat if you guys do need any help with these make sure to drop into the discord i always am um, eager to help you guys out um, and i always post some discount codes in there so the biggest supporters always get rewarded so i do appreciate that make sure to check out the rest of my channel if you did enjoy this video and it was helpful drop a like sub and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one peace